His claims come after a young mother was found murdered in Fort Collins and found in a pond. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Molly Hendrickson. Ann has the night off. The murder suspect in that case is a transient and sexual offender from out of state. And Denver 7's Jackie Cray spoke with Larimer County Sheriff Justin Smith, who is now calling on elected officials to protect this community. You may not have to look hard to see it. Trash, old camping gear, signs that someone is here. These are folks who come here without a job, and they'll tell you, I have, I'm not working. Larimer County Sheriff Justin Smith makes the distinction. Transients, not homeless people, he says, are the problem. And just a few weeks ago, this young mother's lifeless body found in Sheldon Lake, he says, is proof. Miss Hoffman's uh, sexual assault and murder was the straw that breaks the camel's back a multi-state sexual offender who is by law allowed to come here and list transient as an address and just float throughout the community. Colorado law does not require police officers to verify a transient's address, but that's not the only problem. Smith says it's more like a crisis. Transients make up one of every three inmates at the Larimer County Jail. They feel no threat from the commute from the criminal justice system. With a 50% increase in just three years, there's not enough room. Smith believes several things attract them to the Mile High State, like drugs. You're saying that a lot of them are coming here because of legalized marijuana. That's what they tell us. Also, there's a welcoming message from the community, Smith says, like free gear. Homeless gear is an example in ways of those who intend well, but give gear to people to live by the river. And that stuff's left behind. David Root with Homeless Gear says they thoroughly vet the people who get gear. Supplies are only a small part of the work they do to help people get back on their feet. If we can't help people survive and meet their basic needs while they're homeless, we're never going to get to that end goal. Whatever the case, nothing can bring Helena Hoffman back. But Smith hopes it doesn't take another tragedy for something to change. This isn't a, if you'd have done this on one day, it would have stopped that. We need to back this up years. In Larimer County, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. This afternoon, Fort Collins Mayor Wade Troxell reached out to us with a response to the sheriff's comments. It reads in part, Fort Collins is one of the safest communities in the nation, and there is data to back that up. We are working within the law to find solutions to homelessness. And the Larimer